Um, what did you think of the Celtic performance today, mate? I thought it was really good today. I thought it moved the ball about great, fast. They lined up 5 4 1, hard to break down at first. Missed a few chances, but I thought the performance was brilliant. I really did. I thought it was really good. Uh, great performance by Scott Sinclair. I thought he was a great player today. Um, Mikey Johnson, I haven't had a cracking um, uh, collection together. But it was a great performance by the Celtic team as well, I. I thought it was absolutely first class. And I would say Scott Sinclair has found his touch again, his confidence. Could he get off the wild for a wee while, you know? And I was very impressed with Izaguri, who's absolutely outstanding. And in my opinion, if we can get money for Tierney, take it. Because Izaguri will be there for a couple of seasons at least. He's a superb player, he's got a great left peg, and he can cross the ball bit, much better than Tierney. So. Absolutely, because he's two-footed. Tierney's very much one-footed, you know. What, what do you think about, do you think defensively? Who do you think is better defensively? Defensively, um, I really don't like passing comment and Ralston. Uh, he's not terribly athletic. Uh, he, may, he may turn out to be a very good player, of course. You know, Lustig has been a great player on his last legs. So we've got to build, I think we should go for a really, really good attacking fullback with good balance. And uh, centre-backs, goalkeeper's great. Centre backs, if we keep Bayat, I think we can build a team from there. And uh, we'd obviously need a striker, you know. So, I thought it was a really good performance today. Um, very, very professional. Um, really, really good football. Uh, three very well taken goals. So, yeah, um, really good day at the office. I thought it was good, actually. Yeah. Overall, Pretty very well. See at the end, right enough. Um, I thought we should have scored more goals, 100% should have scored more goals, like it was, it was a couple of chances where we should have took them, we really should have, but we didn't, it's just something overall, I think recently, you know, it's why like, we were walking away from some matches, yeah we won them, but at the same time we were walking away, we're like, we should have been up 5, 6 nil. there's somebody coming in the future that we're going to thrash. How's it 07 or 8? The score line says 3 nil, but it could have been a lot, lot more, just so, so dominant, very, very attacking, if we play like that, then, but it frustrates me. At Celtic Park, we can play as like that. Away from home, we can't. We've got to do something away from home like that. I thought it was a really good performance. Uh, I thought it could have been more than just 3-0, nil, but 3-0 uh, is all right. Uh, we, sh we could have been uh, more direct and taken our chances, but of course, you know, home victories are just what we want, and of course, our strong end to the year is also very really good. performance today, yeah, from start to finish, we were really, really good. How it was only 1-0 at half-time is beyond me because, you know, we were absolutely peppering their goals. You know, the keeper, you know, he's made a few saves. Um, should have been at least 4-0 up, I think, at, at half-time, you know. I mean, it was, we were absolutely well on top, really on top of them. And, uh, you know, it was a good performance, you know, 3-0, you know, could have been a lot, lot more. And, uh, yeah, no, we're, we're happy with that. Last game before Christmas, so we're happy. We've seen Christy come back off the bench today. Um, who do you think the midfield three will be for, for the game at Pataudry? That's a difficult one, isn't it? It's away for him at Pataudry. It's got to be a hard game, Boxing Day. I think you've got to bring Brown back in there, just to steady it up. I think he has to come back in. McGregor has to stay in. It's a difficult one, isn't it? It's a tough one, it's a tough one. Rogic never lets us down at Pataudry, though. I think you've got to go with him. Against Aberdeen, I think he'll go Rogic, McGregor and Christie again. I think he'll go back to that three. Oh, well, that'd be... It might be Christie. It might be uh, Scott Brown, maybe. I think Scott Brown maybe come in. Back in again. It's just for a wee bit of stabilisation. Aye, aye, McGregor, aye. Difficult to say because the Rangers game is coming up uh, the next week, but you've, you've got to take every game as it comes. Every, the most important game is the next game for three points. That's a very interesting question. Uh, probably um, Rogic, um, Christie and toss about going between Brown and Encham, but I suppose the good thing about it is now we've got it's, it's competition for places. I mean, there was a, a few weeks ago we were really, really struggling, and now after that performance today and uh, the performance uh, midweek, I think it's competition for places, and uh, that can only be a good thing because we've got a big game against Aberdeen and then obviously Rangers next week. McGregor, Christie, Rogic. If Rogic is allowed to play, that is for the Australian national team. Australian national team, you're not having them. Especially in the 29th. Um, I think if Christie's alright, I think if he's um, 
If he's fit to start, I think he'll. I think he'll play. I think Rogic will play, um, and I think he'll keep McGregor in there and take out. And I think Incham will be the one to come out for Ryan Christie. I think. Do you know it's hard to tell? Like I, I, I love Ryan, and Ryan has come into the team brilliantly. But I see at the same time, like it's a massive thing when people are writing Scott Brown off. I'm sorry, but Scott Brown's not ready to go. I think maybe resting for Aberdeen, bringing him in for Saturday, like I really do. But at the same time, I would probably go. I don't know actually I thought Rogic I find Rogic's very tired recently you know I, I, I don't feel like Rogic's playing like Tom Rogic we know I find recently see even looking at photos and videos of him Tom Rogic's eyes are big black bags only from he's not ready he's definitely not so for me it's definitely not Tom Rogic I would go oh I actually don't even know but I just know that definitely I would go a McGregor Christie combination and then the third is up for debate but I think I know Ryan's only coming back in the team and he's fit but like, McGregor was fuck captain today. Like, that was unbelievable for him and unbelievable as a Celtic fan. Being um, Scott Bain come in today, do you think that was just a case of resting, resting Craig Gordon? Do you think he'll be back at Batoji? I think he will. And just again, Scott being a game and he uh, has to come in. I thought he'd done all right. He didn't have much today, but what he'd done, he done well. Can you know what I mean? But I think Gordon will be back for Wednesday. I think that's just resting for the Aberdeen game because. We've got two big games coming up now against Aberdeen Rangers. I will need them for that too. No, I think it's a real lesson to Scott uh, Craig Gordon. I, I think it's a real lesson to him to turn up his tactics. Uh, do you know something? I think it might have been something. Obviously, uh, Scott Brown had quite sorry. Scott Bain had quite a unhappy experience at Dundee. So I'm just wondering if there was something um, uh, to do with that. But I, I think it's. Um, Again, it's um, Craig Gordon's been great this season, and um, whenever Scott Baines come in, he's he's been really, really good as well. And we've got a lot of um, played a lot of games this season. We've got a lot of um, more games coming up, so I think maybe it's a case of maybe giving uh, Craig Gordon a rest. But yeah, no, like, every time Scott Baines come in, he's he's been great, and he's a very, very good backup. I think so. I mean, I think Craig Gordon's played a lot of games. You know, I mean, and Scott Bain, you know, let's let's not you know get me wrong with Bain. You know, he's a very good um, second choice, and I think he is a very good goalkeeper. A good goalkeeper. I mean, <laughs> didn't have much to do today. I mean, for I mean he. Could have, I mean, he could have very well have just been sitting with us watching the game. He had that very little to do. So, um, no, I think uh, it was just about getting him a rest and, you know, get, letting another good goalkeeper get a, week, get a chance. So, Did you see the game? What's the predictions for the Aberdeen game? Thanks, I just take a one. Three points for us. It doesn't matter how we do it. If we play good, we play bad. If we can get three points, even with a bad uh, performance, three points is what we want. Predictions for Aberdeen? Oh, Celtic, 3-1. We'll find it out. 2-1 Celtic, 2-1 Celtic. Say 3-0. Three nothing. Three nothing, uh, I'd go 2-1. Well, as I said, it's going to be difficult because it's away from home. Forget a win, happy enough. Good performance, bad performance. Just get the win. I'm confident, you know, we normally do well against Aberdeen, you know, home and away, so I'm quite confident. Um, I'm going to go for a 3-0 win. win. Maybe. I think it'll be a tough one. Yeah, tough. I uh, don't know, maybe 2 0, maybe. I want 2 0, at least. Who's your man of the match today? I'm going to get you, Micah Johnson. Just a young boy coming on, scoring two goals. I'm going to get him it. Micah Johnston. Scott Sinclair. Man of the match, I, he's a good, he was through it out. Oh, it's got to be Mikey Johnson. I mean, Mikey Johnson took both his goals really, really well. He was very, very good um, in midweek. But I've got to say, I've also got to give um, a special mention to Scott Sinclair. I mean, he's 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 done a lot of um, um, a lot of criticism this season. I've got to say, I've been one of his biggest critics. But no, he, he played really, really well today, and um, hopefully, he can kick on from there. And Mikey Johnson. In this, we don't have a striker. We don't have Griffiths. We don't have Edward. This is two games. We put Mikey in that position. Two goals. We've got Mikey. He can't even pass Mikey Johnson. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Sensational two goals. Very unlucky not to get a hat to it. Scott Sinclair looked up for it as well, but Mikey Johnson. Mikey Johnson, he was terrific today. Um, Mikey Johnson for me. Um, I think given that we haven't got a recognised striker, I think I thought he did really well up front, you know, linked the play up well. You know, I think if the, the final ball was a, had a bit more quality on it, he would have got in, had created a few more up, had a few more opportunities to score and you know he scored two goal, two good goals. So Maybe Callum McGrath, Scott Sinclair. Probably just Johnson. He deserved it, you know. He did work hard for it. He definitely deserved it, so I.